I had a superpower, what would it be? I don't know, maybe the ability to metabolize alcohol quickly. <laughs> I specialize in those individuals who believe they are superheroes. <laughs> Good for you. Oh, M. Knight. Just never tell with you. It could just go either way. It could go really good or it could go really bad. Let's find out! I'm Lindsay and this is my review for Glass. I was able to score a coveted ticket to the Shyamalanathan at Alamo Drafthouse Theatres. And what the Shyamalanathan was was they were screening uh, Unbreakable, Split, a quick Q&A with M. Night Shyamalan, and then the premiere for Glass. I was very excited to see this film. A lot of people are very excited to see this film, even though the early reviews by critics were not so <laughs> positive. My biggest recommendation is if you're really excited to see something but you see before it opens that it's getting really bad reviews, still go see it. Make up your own mind. But actual fans are having a much different reaction to this film. A much more positive reaction. As far as my reaction to it, well, that's what this is all about. I'd say my reaction is a little split. <laughs> and. I didn't hate the movie, but I didn't completely love it either. I'm still kind of kind of processing a few things that happened. There were parts that I really, really liked and really enjoyed, I thought that were very smart and very well done. But there were other things that I thought were very shoehorned and rushed and not as much as I expected. I would definitely recommend watching Unbreakable and Split right before you go see this movie because there are a lot of nice threads and characters and character moments that carry throughout all three films and from one film to the next and to the next. And I think this is a kind of trilogy that needs to be watched consecutively. But I will say Unbreakable is a film that can stand on its own. Split is a film that can stand on its own. This is not a film that can stand on its own. It is a sequel to Unbreakable and Split. One thing I liked a lot was that it really went back to the roots of the trilogy with the comic book mythology and structure and things like that. So you have extraordinary gifts like something out of a comic book. Another huge plus about it is James McAvoy's performance. He does even more incredible things in this film from just switching back and forth and back and forth between the different personas. And you see even more of them in this film. He's really, really good. I'm Mary Reynolds. Por favor, senora. We almost got you, bro. And I'll also say this about the film. Shyamalan uses color, once again, in very inventive and creative ways. He uses the camera in very unique and creative ways. I think on the director side, he did very, very well. On the writing side, I think he did a good job, but there were a few things that I would have changed and would have stretched out a little bit longer and given things more time to naturally unfold. And really the stars of this film are uh, James McAvoy, Samuel L. Jackson, Sarah Paulson does a very good job. Bruce Willis, he's okay. He's, he plays Bruce Willis. Nothing spectacular about his performance, in my opinion. I'm not sure how the legacy of this movie will unfold because when Unbreakable first came out, it was not received that well. It took, you know, it to come out on home video and more people discovering it and more people understanding exactly what Shyamalan was going for, for people to start really appreciating it for what it was. Because it was before the superhero boom and people just did not know how to take that movie. And I think looking back, it was a little bit ahead of its time. And is that the case with this film? I'm not sure. But it definitely has 
the Shyamalan twist to it. <laughs> but it does wrap a lot of things up in a nice little bow. Whether you <laughs> like that bow or not is going to be up to you to decide. I think I need to watch it at least one more time before I come to a final decision on it. But I definitely don't think this movie deserved all of the negative reviews that critics were giving it before its release. I don't think it's that bad. And during the Q&A, M. Night said something that kind of made sense and could be the issue some people will have with this film is they're very s unbreakable split in this film. They're very small films. They're lower budget. They're very contained. Not a lot of different locations, things like that. Whereas most of the other superhero movies that we're used to, there's tons of different locations. There's big explosions, giant fights, tons of different characters. And that's what we're used to. And a lot of people may not appreciate something scaled back and grounded. This is not a cartoon. This is the real world. And my biggest advice going into this film is just buy into the world. If you don't buy into it, I don't think you'll enjoy this film. And a few things may come off as hokey, but it fits within this universe that M. Night has created. And in the Q&A, he also talked about who he's made these movies for. He said very specifically that he did not make these films for a wide general audience. He made them for people who like comic books and pretty much verbatim he said the people that go to comic cons. People that care about this stuff, about comic books, about superheroes, about mythology. That's who he made these films for. And I guess my final thoughts on this film are it's very aptly titled, Glass. It's fragile. If, if you try to mess with it too much, it's just gonna shatter in your hands. So I go into this film with kid gloves. And like I said, watch Unbreakable, watch Split, and then go see Glass. Glass? Who gives a shit about Glass? You'll be doing yourself a huge favor because you'll notice a lot of stuff that if I hadn't rewatched those other two films right before I saw it, I don't think I would have picked up on them. And there's, there's a lot of stuff to pick up on and some of it's really fun and cool and put in there in very creative ways. And there's a lot of theories out there about Kevin Crumb's origin and his relationship to the greater story. And all I will say about that, because I like I said, I don't want to spoil anything, is you will have your questions answered in this film. Many questions get answered, and a lot more get asked. <laughs> the beast is coming any minute now for you guys. That's going to do it for this review. This is Lindsay, signing off. I'll check you later.